In this video, we're building a custom cable management system, from CNC cutting the parts to final assembly and installation. We started by cutting two aluminum plates on the Fortis router CNC, which will form the base of the cable bracket. Another step in our custom cable management setup, this piece will help keep things tidy in the workshop. Now it's time to assemble them. We're using screws through the CNC cut holes, adding round spaces and locking it in place with nuts on the other side. This bracket will hold a smooth rod, which will support a series of cable loops. One step closer to a more organized workshop. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to give it a like. It really helps us out. Next up, we're building the mainframe using T-slot extrusion. First, we slide in a T-nut, then attach a two-hole, 90-degree corner bracket and secure it with screws. We repeat the process to connect multiple T-slot extrusions and build out the full frame. This will hold everything together and give us the structure we need for the cable system. Now we're connecting both frames using T-slot extrusions to form a full 3D structure. We're also adding cross supports for extra strength. This gives us the stability we need and a solid foundation for what comes next. Got questions or ideas? Drop them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Now we're installing the custom bracket we made on the CNC. Just like always, T-nuts slide into the T-slot groove and screws hold everything in place. We fixed both sides of the bracket, then mounted the smooth rod. Now the cable loops can hang neatly and you can adjust the height if needed. And here comes our Chief Inspiration Officer, Indy, just stopping by to inspect the build. This rack holds a whole bunch of cables and you can even hang tools like clamps or pliers on the side. Thanks for watching. We'll be sharing more DIY builds from time to time, so hit subscribe to stay in the loop.